Welcome back. Several highway ramps are closed in downtown Dallas after a deadly crash. Yeah, this is a mess this morning. Police say that this car crashed during a chase early this morning. Paige Ellenberger live near the scene with the very latest. Paige. Yeah, good morning. So this all started off as a police chase in Irving. We're told that Irving police officers worked to initiate a traffic stop for a stolen vehicle. However, the driver of that vehicle took off toward Dallas. The car was traveling at a high rate of speed on I-35 East southbound. It ended up taking the Woodall Rogers exit ramp here just outside of downtown. And because that car was going so fast, it did not slow down. Ultimately, the vehicle vaulted off of that ramp. The car ended up landing on I-35E below near the Dallas North Toy exit. That's exit 429B on a grassy median. Four people died, all of them the occupants of that vehicle. Dallas police are here. The sheriff's office is here. Irving police as well as Dallas and Fire and Rescue, they're all responding. We are told one sheriff's office deputy was injured. He was working to lay spike strips down. However, he had just arrived as the crash happened. A light pole ended up falling onto his squad car. He was transported to the hospital with a minor injury to his arm. That's great that the deputy wasn't seriously injured. I mean, it was just kind of probably a freak thing that the light pole falls down and then you hit a light pole. Uh, so it's just it's good that he, he's got minor injuries. Okay, as far as closures go, the main lanes on I-35 E southbound are open. Traffic is flowing just fine here. I-35 E Woodall Rogers exit ramp on the southbound side, though, that's blocked off. The Woodall Rogers exit ramp northbound is also closed. We are told a part of the vehicle ended up landing on that, which is the reason for those lane closures. The Continental Avenue exit is also closed, too. Now, the Irving Police Department is leading this investigation. Dallas County Sheriff's Office are assisting with it as well. We are told that this is going to take at least a few more hours for the sun to come up for this investigation to is even start to wrap up chip i just spoke with the dallas county sheriff's office pio and he told me that they're going to launch the drone up into the air as soon as they get daylight however traffic is picking up here on i-35 we do know that this is a very busy area just outside of downtown so it's going to be crucial that if you're traveling in this area just take it slow and also be mindful of the first responders that are working the scene most definitely and just to put this into perspective sunrise is at seven 23. So then if they're not going to launch until they get more daylight after that, we're talking about a closure that's going to be way past 8 o'clock, maybe even 9, before we start to even see the investigative work wrap up. Then they will start to work on cleaning everything up. So for the rest of the morning, I would say you need to plan on the closures. And as you heard Paige mention, that southbound 35E exit ramp to Woodall is blocked, and it definitely causes some frustrations in that area. But again, she mentioned how all the main flow seems to be okay. So we're going to really focus more on about uh, on all of the complicated closures closures on the transition to go to Woodall Rogers because again as she mentioned a chunk of that vehicle when it descended from the upper levels down to the 35 E level uh, ended up in chunks and part of that ended up on the ramp that goes to Woodall Rogers and it's prompted a closure there so when you look at this south uh, northbound traffic on I 35 E continental exit blocked will be until this incident clears but you can get to the Dallas North Tollway interchange and the Victory High Line exit a little bit north of there uh, and then when you're talking talking about trying to get from I-30 and I-35E because they have the ramps not only blocked to get to Woodall Rogers but also to Commerce because it's kind of a two for one the way they designed it in that uh, interchange. Uh, the traffic flow is really jamming up, especially on I-35E due to all the confusion. So if you're going to be heading in this area, you'll obviously want to plan accordingly. I would suggest for folks coming over from Grand Prairie, for example, you get off early at a road like Hampton uh, and uh, work your way up to Singleton, try to work your way across into downtown Dallas. That way you'd be far better off because at least uh, the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge is open. And then for folks that are south of here, trying to use some of the viaducts to move into downtown Dallas, would be a better bet. Right now in Tarrant County, all of the roadways are trouble free and we haven't had any incidents pop up in Collin or Denton County so far on the major highways or toll roads. Let's check in with Evan now 